Hey cuties, it's time for our sweet treat and episode three of our Christmas series begins now. So I am going to be popping these off. So the trusty handy dandy UNT peel-off base coat is what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use my Model Ones glue and these beautiful square tips that I got from Amazon to do this candy cane set today. So you guys, I told y'all in my last video that I was probably gonna tell y'all about a dream that I had every Christmas as a child. So without further ado, this is it. So y'all knew, well, a lot of you guys know that I am from Trinidad. I grew up in the Caribbean. Um, and basically, a lot of my childhood memories just, it comes from, you know, having Christmas on the islands. So I'ma let y'all watch everything that I'm doing. It's pretty much gonna be the same steps repeated for every nail. So it's kind of almost like a watch me work and story time at the same time. But as a child growing up in Trinidad, around this time of year, the entire family would be doing stuff like painting the house, cleaning. My grandmother would be, well, she would have already sewed new curtains. We'd be putting that up. We'd be decorating. We have this, well, we still have this massive tree in the backyard that my uncles would string Christmas lights on. We had these beautiful Christmas lights. The bulbs were so huge on it. And everything would be going on in the house. All the women would be in the kitchen, baking breads, cakes, sweet bread, making sorrel. That's a, a drink that we drink. Um, I can't explain it to you, but it's almost, it's like a fruit drink. Um, making punch of creme, all these different wonderful things that we would do for the Christmas season. So every Christmas Eve, like the kids would all sleep in one area. And usually we would like kind of gather into this one room while, well, I know now, while all the adults, most of all the adults were in my aunt's room wrapping gifts. There would be these big black trash bags in my aunt's room. It'll be like getting bigger and bigger as the days go by. But as a kid, we didn't know, you know, what that was but now I'm you know old enough to know that those were all of the presents that went under the tree so Christmas Eve all the rooms are all decorated all of the the house is just smelling so good from all these baked goods there's this type of music we listen to called parang it's it's a lot of Hispanic heritage in there um, so it's a lot of Spanish um, dialect um, type of music and so we'll be listening to that and then eventually me and my cousins will all gather into the kids room because there was one specific room where all the kids slept and we would fall asleep you know after playing our hearts out most of the night we'd fall asleep and I would always have the same dream every year so I'd fall asleep and in the dream It'll be as though we were all sleeping in our dining room area and I'd hear jingle bells. And so I would rush to the room where we kept the Christmas tree. And as I get there, I'll hear the jingle bells again. And it was almost like I saw just a little glimpse of Santa, but it was, it was enough for me to confirm that it was him, but I wasn't able to see him see him. So I would hear the jingle bells, which to me would sound like it was coming from upstairs where my grandparents' room was. And I would run up there into my grandparents' room. And as I'm looking out the window, I would see Santa and his sleigh taking back off into the, the starry night sky. And of course, he would say the typical ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And I would wake up after <laughs> I guess having this dream the entire night, I would wake up. So every year for years on end, I wanna say till I was maybe about 11 or 12, I would have that dream even after leaving the Caribbean and moving to New York with my mom when I was 10, I would still have that dream. So those are one of the things that kind of, you know, engraved in me 
my spirit of Christmas and how much I love Christmas, you know, that Christmas feeling as a kid. Now I have different traditions now that I'm an adult and different things that kind of invigorates the spirit of Christmas in me. But that's pretty much the dream that I had every Christmas. Um, for you new subscribers, thank you so much for becoming a part of the Cutie family. If there's anything that you guys would like to see me create during this Christmas series, make sure to let me know down in the description box. Um, a lot of what you guys are seeing here in this video, y'all have seen me do in the past. I've pretty much talked throughout the entire video trying to tell you guys this dream that I would have every Christmas Eve as a child. Whatever your traditions are, whatever your beliefs are, I wish you the best in the upcoming year. I pray that God continues to smile on you and your families, to continue to watch over you guys, protect y'all and bless y'all with your heart's desires. And I wish you guys nothing but the best for the upcoming year. So cuties, thank you again for your love and your support. You guys have been such a blessing to me, y'all. That was pretty much like my childhood uh, memory. I would love to hear what you guys' childhood memories or dreams were or any traditions that you guys, you know, remember from when you all were little. You know, the youth is like so embodied. It's, it's just such... <sighs> I don't know like youth is just the Christmas spirit to me even though you know as adults we we have that oh yeah it's Christmas I love Christmas but as a child it's just so different and I know some of you had some like awesome memories or things that you guys did or saw that were so magical as children and I would love to hear from y'all on what those were. I'm also trying to create some super awesome memories with my daughters so that way, you know, they have something to tell their kids when they're older. I know not everyone here celebrates Christmas, but whatever you celebrate, I pray that it's a joyous um, time of year for you. It's a lot going on in the world. Trust me, I know this Christmas feels a little bit off for me this year. With everything that's going on I'm just praying that things get better as we close out this year because this year is about to come to an end I've received so much support and love from all of you all and I just pray that we can go into this new year with more joy and more happiness in all of our lives Hey y'all, so my girls just came in to hang out with me for a little bit. Say hey. Hey. So I hope you guys have been watching this um, and kind of like learning a little bit of what I'm doing here with the jail. Even though I haven't been explaining to you guys what I'm doing, I hope that you guys are able to get an idea of what it is that I'm doing. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that y'all are enjoying it so far. Um, I really did like this set. You know, y'all, I always like my own work. And I hate that I have to pop them off at the end of it. But 
you know, they gotta go because I gotta go to work. So, but I really enjoyed doing this peppermint design. I know in the beginning I said candy cane, but it was a peppermint candy design, you know, holiday season, peppermint. Y'all are gonna hear these girls in the background talking, but it's okay. They always promise they're gonna be quiet, but y'all know how kids are, but it's all good. So yeah, I did say candy cane in, in the beginning, but I meant peppermint. I thought it was super, super, super cute. I love the shimmer of this um clear it was a clear starry clear or glitter clear gel um mix it was um very iridescent iridescent and beautiful i got that in the mica powders when i mixed my gels recently now y'all know it's been a while since i mixed those powders into the ibd builder gel and the shelf life is still good it's still holding up the only thing I have to do is remix the pots before using them because the powders tend to settle to the bottom so if you're gonna be mixing powders into gel keep that in mind but I absolutely love how this design came out these nails were so long and beautiful I haven't dared to do any double tip nails but hopefully in the future you guys will see that coming up so I'm just gonna encapsulate these file shape buff add some bling to it and I am going to leave y'all here to watch just for a little bit longer I know that Christmas is all about the birth of Jesus and the love that God has for each and every one of us that he gave his only son. Um, I know we all follow, well most of us follow the story of Jesus because I know everyone has different faith and different traditions and things like that. But I, it's really truly from my heart. I wish you guys the best for this Christmas. I wish you guys the best for the upcoming new year. Whatever you celebrate, whatever you do. I pray that you do it in love. I pray that you have your family and friends to share it with you. And as always, I'll most definitely talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Merry Christmas.